to Loretto, of course. We had to get another massage when we went there. It was fantastic. Then we went up the one, all the way up to here, to this beach we wanted to go to. Um, and it was just, here it is, north of Coyote. It's in between here. And it was right in here. It's Playa Escondido and it's not on the map. But let me tell you, it was a phenomenal beach. So as we headed up the Sea of Cortez, we just love watching the water. It's just amazingly blue all the way up. And each bay you go by is more turquoise blue than the next. And then of course, on our way to the beach, we had to stop by our favorite place, Bertha's. It is awesome food. We just really enjoy this laid back place, really good prices, and very nice people. I ordered the ceviche shrimp, which is very tasty. And of course, Mark got his beef street tacos and probably a cerveza or two. So, and we had a great lunch and then we were on our way again. We continued working our way up the beach and uh, Playa Escondido is just south of Mulahe and uh, not quite there and it's just past El Coyote and there's a dirt road and you have to kind of catch it and go around this peninsula and then you're there and then once you're there it's very beautiful. So we made it to Playa in Escondido. As you can see, the waters are absolutely beautiful. We were gonna stop here on our way going south, but we ended up staying at El Coyote. So when we were going north, we wanted to make sure and check it out on the way home. And no regrets with checking it out. And it's very windy today. So they have a lot of these decorative areas here with shells and plants and uh, over here they have uh, tomato plants. There's uh, several tomato plants around. And then they hung shells from the skeleton here. And it's just a magnificent, beautiful beach. And it looks like we have some permanent residents over here. And the Palapas here are really nice. And there's some more tomato plants. Uh, we decided just to park in front of it so we had a great view of the beach instead of on the side. And we weren't going to be here that long anyways. I don't know if you can see way out there. There's like a hundred foot yacht out there by that little island. It's just been hanging out there all day. What a nice, lovely morning. Escanote Beach. Finally made it here. This is definitely a regular stop for us from now on. Very, very nice here. And it has like shell beach, so you don't have to deal with the sand flies. We got the uh, yacht out there still. <laughs> It's just a really nice beach. And there's some reefs so you can go snorkeling and see some fish life out there. It's just really, really nice. Got some people sleeping on the beach over here. They uh, also have kind of fixed up around the camping spots. There's plants, and then there's a bunch of tomato plants here too, which is kind of nice. There's a hike up this mountain, and it has a, some artwork, so I'm going to hike up there later and film that. So we're off to our hike up the hill there. And then there's some artwork up there. We'll check out. And we'll get our daily exercise. 
work off all those tortillas. <laughs> so, and then we'll take, Mark said it was a pretty view up here. Morning. Morning. <laughs> <clears throat> He's not the morning person. <laughs> So we climbed to the top of this hill and there's a painting on the rock face here that's rather large, it's probably 15 feet tall. I'm assuming it's of Our Lady of Guadalupe. There's a hole at the top of the rock, kind of interesting, and they made a shrine. They put Christmas lights around it and people have their candles and flowers up here. We'll go around the corner. Yes. There's the Bay of Conception, Bahia de Concepcion. There's a place where we camped right down there. Really, really nice beach. The water is crystal clear. You can see clear to the bottom. And over a little rise here, there's a big yacht parked on the other side. We'll go check it out here in a second. So there's where we camped. Get an absolutely awesome view up here. There's that yacht. Sat there all night. Beautiful boat. And there you get a nice big view. This is actually just a huge bay, thus the Bahia de Constitucion. And if we go off to my left, that's an island right there. And if you keep going to the north, it actually opens up out into the Sea of Cortez. Go back to a wide view. So there we go. look around this is all probably volcanic rock very very hard stuff a lot of pockets in it and right there is where that shrine is at can't see it from this angle so when we were coming down south in Mulahe we met this guy that worked at the scuba shop if you remember and he's the one that told us about this beach and he said it was the best beach down here so he gave us directions and how to get here because it's a little hidden but without a doubt it's uh, definitely one of our favorites in the Baja that's for sure <laughs> 